So it's going to be like a barrelhead party, fair trade party. So yeah, so which is gonna, cool. That's going to be awesome. You, yeah. Mick Hayes band. Uh, Mick what, Hayes band. What other bands have you? Yeah. Uh, uh, up until last year, I was with the Mick Hayes band for almost three years. And uh, before that, I was with a band called The Press. The Press was a very big local band. That was a nice band, yep. We had uh, Johnny Whalen, Joe Shanahan, uh, Mike Julian. There was a bunch of different guitar players, which there's a story behind, because when we needed a guitar player for The Press, right? It was me, my, myself, Johnny Whalen, and originally Mark Terreri, and John Pokrant from the Fair Trade Band. We started The Press. Well, John dropped out. He only even think he did a gig with us. Mark did about three gigs, so we needed another guitar player, so we called my friend Tony Scazzaro. He was the guitar teacher. He's, the, he's another Buffalo Hall of Famer. Legend, yeah. And uh, Tony, we need somebody to play guitar, so we, here comes this kid, 17 years old, Mike Julian, you know. Like, you know, kind you of... You like the spinal tap, except for with guitar players, <laughs> right? right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just, and, uh, What's going on here? You know, he was, and he turned out to be great, and then every time... You know, we'd need another guitar player replacement for that. We'd call Tony, and then to Tony, sh sh you know, sent us Joe Shanahan. Uh, we had Nathan Kristoff. I don't know if you know Nathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those were all students of, of All Tony's? students of Tony's, yep. Yeah, so you went right to the source. Yeah. That's smart. And then the last time we needed, because Nathan moved out to California, Tony, i got to do it again. He goes, no, uh -uh, I'm going to do it this time. So Tony played with the, with the press for about three years, which was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, he taught us a lot. You just, know? Yeah, yeah, we're just a great band. I mean, you know, you mm -hmm. you've always been you know involved with great bands. We got to head to a commercial break soon, but I know Joshua wanted to talk about one of the things that impresses him. I just wanted to say, you know, you talk about your whole resume and everything that you got. You mm -hmm. got you know so much under your belt. One of the coolest things about David Frost that I have to give to him is he's always mentoring young musicians, all the young guys in Buffalo, everyone from people who you know have never gigged to people that you know are out gigging. He's mentoring people. Just the other day we were out, uh, we saw the Guilty Party. Um, you, me, and David. Yeah, oh yeah. Great, great band. The three of us. And, you know, David, he mentors that band. You know, he's always, and even myself that night, he asked me, what am I going to, you know, uh, what am I doing? And, you know, am I, who am I playing yeah, with? Yeah, he seems, stuff? young musicians seem to be attracted to you because they, they I don't, I, and you give them a lot of props. You, mm -hmm. you know, you really, mm -hmm. you don't, you don't, like, say, oh, you're a kid or anything like You just, you're really well, there yeah. for everybody. It's good. Well, you know. You have to help people out, you yeah. know, and if, you know, a guy like a young guy like Josh, like yourself, you know, Josh has come up and jammed a few times with uh, the Rich and Famous band, and you can recognize that talent, so you want to see that grow. You know something else that David taught me? If you have a lot of young guys around, you can get them to haul your gear. Yeah. Which I, is I David think taught me that. that. Is <laughs> so that's, that's, that's what we've been doing. That's, uh, that's really the secret. <laughs> we're going to head to a commercial break. Tommy, I want to thank you so much for being on, and we're, you know, we'd like to stay in touch with you if that's possible. Sure, sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm available via the cell phone wherever I am. I mean, it's hard to give you a nail down location, but absolutely. And if you have any trouble, probably Lee can find me too. All right. I have and a maybe David. I don't yep. know. He may not want to find me. Sure. I, I have a question for you, Tommy. Sure. Uh, the, the, your bearskin rug album with you sitting, laying on the, the, the white bearskin rug. Did my father take that picture? No. No, he didn't. What? No. Did what? Yeah, I was wondering.